The advances of robotic surgery that have taken place really involve improvements in visualization and dexterity of the instrumentation. So with robotics versus conventional laparoscopic surgery, we're actually seeing things in 3D. With laparoscopic surgery, it's in 2D. So what you gain with the robot view is depth, and that allows you to do surgery more precisely. The instrumentation that is on the robot gives you more what we call degrees of freedom. So the instruments can do things in very tight spaces that you can't do with conventional instrumentation. And that's really been a huge advance over what we can do with open surgery or even laparoscopic surgery. With robotic surgery, what we have seen is patients have improved outcomes. They have less pain, faster recovery, quicker return to normal activities, less blood loss, which is a major advantage over open surgery. For example, around 30 to 40 percent of patients will get a blood transfusion after open surgery. Now, this may be their own blood or it could be banked blood. The transfusion rate, in my experience, is less than 1 percent. So we have transfused around 10 patients out of 1,200 patients, and this is a huge advantage for our patients. When you don't have to have a blood transfusion, you feel better. You're not feeling anemic. You have more energy, so you're able to do things faster than you would if you're waiting for your blood level to improve after an open surgery. So that's been a major advantage. The other advantages we see with robotic surgery over open surgery are fast removal of the catheter. So we get the catheter on around seven days versus two weeks with the open surgery. And then with technical modifications of the operation and more experience, we've seen patients have better urinary control and better erectile function than we've seen with open surgery.